Welcome everybody to this video. This is player 3D tutorial video on texturing. If you are totally new then you can watch my previous video or you can continue watching the video with your PC. So let's start. Before texturing let's see how you can add color to any of your object or mesh. I'm creating a cube in my totally blank scene. In order to add color to your object click on the material from here. After selecting your object, click this little add filter button. Then click on the color option from the very top. Here you added color to your object. You can also change it from here. Now it's time to add texture. Let's delete this filter. Again click on the filter button and this time choose texture map. Another thing to notice that a pattern of little boxes appeared on the surface of our cube. Now what's this? Simply it's the UV map of our object or model that tells the engine where and how to show the textures. Different object has different UV. Let me show you. You can easily find the difference. So now look at the texturing. To add texture to your object, make sure you selected the object you want, then simply click on here. Now select the texture you want to add. I'm using this brick texture and here we go. Now let's add the same texture on this sphere. But this time I'm not following the same process from before. This time I'm using a more handy way to do it. Just hold the texture from library panel then drag and drop the texture on the object you want. Simple. Now most of the time we will not use a square cube like this. Sometimes we will scale it like this. But now the texturing is stressed and not looking so good. To fix this go beneath your texture icon and find a property called repeat. Just increase and decrease it to solve this problem. But for this you need to you need a seamless texture and you can also change the offset of your texture on the surface. Now it's looking pretty good. Now let me show you how you can copy any objects material. Let me duplicate this. Now add the brick texture to the first one. As soon as we added the texture to our object, it creates new icon here which is called material for that object. And we can copy it by drag and drop technique to this object. So now, if we edit one object's texture repetition, both will be affected. You can use this trick to reduce your file size. Now let's add an arena to our scene. You can see a wall here. Let's change its texture. But we shouldn't drop the texture on the object because we already have some materials before. Let's add one of these. Now fix its repetition if needed. It's looking good now. But here, in the library panel, we have some materials that aren't in use. Let's remove these all. Click right mouse button, choose this option. So you can see how easy it is to change and add a texture to any object. Hope you like this video, please subscribe my channel if you like my works.